In this video, I am going to talk about the white balance test in order to assess a patient's postural control, range of motion, strength and proprioceptive abilities. Enroll in our online course now. Link is in the video description. Hi, and welcome back to PhysioTutors. The Y balance test is a shortened version of the star excursion balance test. It is reduced to test the anterior, posteromedial, and posterolateral reach. According to a study of Pliski et al. in the year 2006, the Y balance test has an excellent interrater reliability between 0.48 to 0.78. To conduct the test, place three stripes of tape on the ground in a Y shape. The angles between the interior stripe and both posterior stripes are 135 degrees with 90 degrees between the two posterior stripes. Before the actual test is started, the patient is allowed to make four to six practice trials in each direction, after which your patient can rest for five minutes. For the actual test, the patient has three official test moments. For the anterior reach, the stance foot is placed with the toes at the zero mark position of the anterior reach direction line. For the postural medial and postural lateral reaches, the heel is placed at the zero mark position of the anterior reach direction line. To start, have your patient stand barefoot on one limb with his hands on the hips and ask him to try to reach as far as possible along the tape stripe. He or she needs to perform three trials standing on the right foot reaching in the anterior direction followed by the three trials standing on the left foot reaching in anterior direction. This procedure is repeated for the postural medial and the postural lateral reach directions. The tape should be only touched lightly with the toes and the examiner marks the most distal point of contact on the tape. A trial is not considered complete if the participant touches the tape heavily, comes to rest at the midpoint, has to make contact with the ground to maintain balance or shifts the foot of the stance limb. To score the Y balance test, first calculate the average reach distance in each direction in centimeters by taking the average of the three trials for each direction. So you should have six values, three for the left leg and three for the right leg. Then calculate the distance in each direction as a percentage by taking the average distance in each direction. Divide it through the patient's leg length and multiply it by 100. This test can be useful and helpful to determine deficits and asymmetries in individuals, as well as assist in the return to play decision making process. For example, a study by Butler et al. in the year 2013 concluded that college football players who had a composite score below 98.6% were 3.5 times more likely to get injured. Pliski et al. in the year 2006 has found an anterior reach asymmetry of greater than 4 cm predicted individuals at higher risk for low limb injuries in basketball players. Be aware, however, that there is a huge variance in performance and injury risk between sports and sexes which is why no clear cutoff values for symmetry are described. Thanks a lot for watching. If you're curious about the star excursion balance test, click on the video right next to me. As always, feel free to give this video a like if it was helpful to you or drop us a comment down below. You can find more info about us on our website or on our other social media channels. This was Kirsten for Fisio Tutors. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.